Hey everybody, uh, got another video for you. This is a very special car. 67 GT500, 31,000 original miles, all original paint, all original engine, carburetors, transmission, rear end. Um, this car was bought and sold, it was sold new in Colorado, in Denver. And uh, it's been all of its life out there until about I don't know, a month ago. Um, the lady that had this car, drove it, it was her personal car. She last stickered the car in 1981. That was the last uh, legal registration. From there, she said she drove it periodically on the 81 tags until about 1986. At that point, she put the car on jack stands and never drove it again until it was removed from the building uh, in December of 2020. So, factory dark moss green, 67 Shelby. All original I've checked every panel on the car it's all original paint and it's in very nice condition to be all original the car is you know it's never been painted but it was drove so it's got some chips on it here and there but you'll probably be hard-pressed to find one <laughs> in this condition in original car has literally no rot it's got the original steering wheel Stuart Warner gauges the interiors in excellent condition they had changed the shifter at one point in time and cut the carpet but the original shifter is back in the car All original seat belts. Headliners in great shape. The mileage is documented. They kept, uh, record of every gas fill up how many gallons how much it cost starting at 150 miles I've got all those booklets you can tell at one point in time they had some Shelby letters on the trunk lid the car is all original never been painted never been restored Got the original spare 10 spoke with the Goodyear Speedway. Original trunk mat. Now they did add marker lights to the front and back and they are functional. They're wired into the tail lights. And I was told that the state of Colorado required that. That's what I was told by her. And it was done before she got the car. Original scoops. You can see the fiberglass pattern. The only issues really on the car is that started, there's some oxidation going on there. It's not coming from the inside out. It's uh, basically just on the outside. I don't know if something was on the paint right there or something when they parked the car and then slowly over 
30 some years it kind of oxidized the paint and, but the uh, integrity is excellent it's the factory roll bar the shoulder harnesses Like they have glued this tag back on. There's the uh, original trunk jack uh, jack assembly and uh, spare tire instructions that doesn't look like it was ever put on the trunk lid. Glove box door shut. Dash pads in great condition. Door jams. The car set covered since 1986 when I got the car. It wasn't running, but now since then I've done all the proper maintenance, fuel hoses, Flush the coolant system. Clean the tank. Carburetors were rebuilt. Had the original radiator record because it was just stopped up and wouldn't hold pressure. There is some chipping on the front lower valance. And on the nose, just on the nose in general, the hood is the original hood. It does have some paint cracking on it. Uh, when I got the car, it had those holes for like rear hood pins, but there's nowhere it was ever cut for a hood pin. It's almost like if they did use hood pins, they made some type of mount system that bolted right into the factory latch. Inboard headlights. I did have to replace a couple parts. That's uh, replaced that cap, but I have the original Autolite radiator cap. Put new battery cables on it, correct ones. It's an original Cobra air cleaner. Original intake. Got the auto light breather on that side. The Fomoco correct one on that side. Yellow top coil. Original water pump. There's the radiator. Original fan shroud. It's a, I've got a picture of it, but it's C7ZE. Original fan. I verified every number on the block, heads, carburetors. I've got the original carburetor B, uh, BJBK tags. I've got the original engine tag. That's never been removed. All these panels are in great shape. It's got Gabriel shocks on the front. There's the Shelby number. Good clear stamping. Factory exhaust manifolds with the uh, exhaust flapper right down in there. There's the uh, C7ZX. It's just an amazing car. It's never, it's all original. Rug S1 top loader. It's got the spec case rear end with the 31 spline axles. Uh, original hood pin lanyards. Oh, uh, the fuel pump when I got it was just, you know, about what you'd expect out of a 30 some year old fuel pump. It had the original uh, canister on it. 
I replaced the fuel pump, but I kept the original. It's the original fuel pump, verified the numbers. I've got the, like I said, all the numbers to the heads, block, radiator. I mean, everything is dated correct. It's all original, nothing's been changed. Like I said, I uh, paint gauged every panel on this car. It is not a perfect car. It's not a concourse perfect car. It is original. These will only be original once in their life. Original 10 spokes. Now the tires have been changed. They should be Goodyear Speedways. The, the spare is still a Goodyear Speedway. Original stickers stripes i mean original 10 spokes we've got the marty report for the car it's just an incredible original car i really don't think at this day and age that you're gonna just find an all original car that's in this good a shape and hasn't been tampered with it up oh, in gear cold out here about 30 degrees tack works oil pressure gauge works gauge works it's got the original muffler on it runs and drives really good five supply tires kind of beat on you just a touch because they're stiff fuel filter in it but I've got the original rubber hose and the, the original clamps
say about it, so I'll just uh, wrap this video up. The car kind of speaks for itself. It's 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 really a special car. We've got pictures of every casting number, every date code. I can verify anything. So appreciate you watching. Thanks.